Okay, so this is the diagram for the wiring for the piston. And you can see that we have, instead of these micro switches here on the left, we actually have the relays. And you can see how that is wired to two micro switches that sit on either ends of the travel and um, of, the, of the pump. So in actual fact, I need three wires that come out from these relays to go to the piston. So what happens then is that the positive wire, which is the 7.2 volts, goes into the normally open, which means unless the switch is on, nothing's happening. The negative goes into the normally closed and also goes to join the negative on its way to the um, uh, piston and then the common just join to those wires on either side. So that's, as, that's all there is to wiring up the piston. But it means that I've got positive going to the normally open of the two piston relays and part of the exercise that I'm going through here is I want to work out where the positives and the negatives go all the way down this um, line on, the, on this long track of, uh, of pumps. So the pump. Now this is the uh, main pump. The positive go goes to the normally open. The negative goes to the normally closed. and then the common goes to the water pump for the ballast tank. That's pretty simple. The only difference is there's only two wires and I don't have a negative. But one of those will obviously be positive and one will be negative depending on which uh, relay is thrown. So that's where the positive goes there to the pump. It's exactly the same with the trim tank. And this is now just the gun the positive goes to the normally open, the common goes to the gun, and the negative goes to the, is from the common negative. So that's all fairly straightforward, I think. So these are the little portals that I've got to uh, put the wires into, and the wires are fairly thick, so I'm going to have to make these wires up. Now I've made the negative ones, you can see, very, very awful looking things, but I've done it. And now I'm just uh, moving along and I think, oh yes, I have to make um, a connection for the piston. And I'm going to use a small um, connector and I'm just wiring the, these wires into it. It's just a small three pin, low voltage, low amperage connection. But honestly, it works fine. And as you can see, the piston's coming back and it's all been run now through the Nano and going forwards. So this is the very first time I've actually used the Nano and this uh, relay block to start something working. So I've got my nice little um, uh, female plug that I've made here with those little connections that I soldered on. Now just putting some 5 minute epoxy in the back end of it to hold it all together and make it nice and strong. Um, because I will be pulling that apart every now and again. piston. It's a half a second delay on all of those. Now I'm just checking that when I turn the piston on to move out and I push the relay, I push the micro switch off, it turns it off because that's very important otherwise it's just going to keep going and wreck itself. And that's the water pump with the trim tank. All done through the Nano and the settings on the Nano, just like I did with the knob. That's lovely. Very good. So I've got four nice uh, units operating off that one particular channel. Now, as you can see, I've got the uh, 7.2 volt wires connected in. And they're all going to the um, relays. And it's now becoming quite a throng of wires. God, it's thick, isn't it? I always get the feeling I'm going to do it better, and it this is actually not looking that bad, considering it's so bloody complicated. Um, but the, the top end looks pretty good. Now, you can see I've moved the micro gyros around to the 
port side so that it's turning the other way. It was the only way I could do it to get the proper action on the stern hydroplane. And now this is the first time these little wires here are a bit annoying, but this is the first time I've now just put Humpty together. Push that all together and that's that's looking very neat, I think. It's very nice. Especially it looks better on the top than the bottom. Very good.